Hello grade 9, we are now in lesson 2.2 Solving quadratic equations by factoring The first part, solving quadratic equations in the form of ax squared plus bx equals 0 or by using monomial factoring Watch this video for you to learn the lessons Thank you! Lesson 2.2 Solving quadratic equations by factoring. So, letter A for factoring. We are solving quadratic equations in the form of ax squared plus px equals 0. So, using this form, we are going to use the mathematical concept monomial factoring. So, example. So, x squared plus 5x equals 0. So, as you can see, we are in the form of a x squared plus bx equals 0. So, we are going to apply monomial factoring. So, how do we apply monomial factoring? So, take a look at our first term. So, we have x squared plus our second term 5x equals 0. So, in our first term, we can write this as x times x. And for our second, second term, we can rewrite this as 5 times x equals 0. So, as you can see, in our first term and second term, saan sila common? So, which monomial do this term have in common? So, we have x and X. So, X are, or X is common to them. So, what we are going to do, we are going to use monomial factoring. Okay, we have to bring X to the outside. And, so, na-bring na natin yon to the outside. Yon. Okay. So, we are going to put inside the parentheses the remaining. So, kinuha na natin yung X. Ang natira ay X at Ang sign ay positive. Ang natira dito ay 5. Then, equals 0. So, you have now x times the quantity x plus 5. If you are going to distribute this using distributive property of multiplication, x times x, x squared, x times 5 is 5x. Okay, then, after this, we are going to apply the 0 product property zero product property so paano yon kung titingnan natin meron tayong ditong dalawang number so x at saka x plus 5 kung i-multiply mo yung dalawa dapat ang sagot ay zero so ngayon para lang siyang ganito para siyang 1 times 0 equals 0. So, pwede na yung x plus 5 ay 0, ay equal to 0. Pag minultiply mo siya sa x, ang sagot ay 0. Pwede rin na yung x ay 0. Okay. So, x ay 0 times x plus 5. Pag minultiply mo siya, 0 pa din. So, para maging mas sigurado tayo using zero product property, we are going to equate or to let these two numbers to be equal to zero. So, gagawin natin siyang x equal to zero at saka x plus 5 is equal to zero. Then, ang product nila ay zero. So, we will have, so from x times x plus 5 equal zero. So, we'll have x equal 0 and x plus 5 equal 0. Then, as you can see, meron na tayong first value of x, which is 0. Then, for the other value of x, so, meron tayong positive 5, kukuhanin natin ang additive inverse para mapapunta dun sa, ka, sa left side. So, positive 5, ang additive inverse niya is negative 5. So, magiging x plus 5, minus 5, additive inverse, equal 0, minus 5. Kung, kung anong ginawa sa kanan, gagawin sa kaliwa. Then, cancel. 
we're going to cancel. Okay? So, ang natira, x equals 0 minus 5 is negative 5. So, this is our solution. So, this will be x sub 1 and our x sub Okay, checking. So we have solution 1 is 0 and solution 2 is negative 5. If x is equal to 0, again, we are going to use the general or the given equation. x squared plus 5x equals 0. If x is 0, so this will become 0 squared plus 5 times 0 equals 0. 0 squared is 0. Plus 5 times 0, 0 equals 0. 0 plus 0 is 0 equals 0. So you have the correct solution. Okay, if x is equal to negative 5, again, general equation, x squared plus 5x equals 0. So x is negative 5. So negative 5 squared plus 5 times negative 5 equals 0. Negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25. Then, positive times negative is negative. 5 times 5 is 25 equals 0. 25 minus 25, 0 equals 0. So, therefore, the second solution is also correct. So, therefore... Our solution, the solution, the solutions are 0 and negative 5. Example number 2 for monomial factoring. 2x squared minus 8x equals 0. Still in the form of? ax squared plus bx equals 0. So, our first term, 2x squared can be factored as 2 times x times x minus. So, we have 8. 8 times x equals 0. So, if you are going to take a look at 2 and 8, this can be factored with 2. 8 can be factored with 2. So, that will become 2x times x minus 2. What number is to, to be multiplied to 2 to make it 8? So, we have 4. Then, x equals 0. Now, let's investigate our first and second term. In which term does these two terms have in common? So we have here 2, we have here 2, we have here x, and we have here x. So ang pareho sa kanilang monomial term ay 2 at saka x. So 2x. Then again, ilalagay sa parenthesis, ano ang natira sa first term? So we have x. Then ang ating sign, minus. Ano ang natira sa ating second term? 4 equals 0. So, ngayon, ang ating equation ay 2x times the quantity of x minus 4 equal to 0. Then, let, apply, let us apply 0 product property or the ZPP. Okay, so we have 2x times x minus 4 equals 0. So, we have 2x equals 0 and x minus 4 equals 0. Pinaghiwalay natin and inequate natin sa 0. Then, using division property of equality, ano yung kasama ni x? 2. So, ang gagawin natin, divide both sides by 2 to cancel out. Okay, so 0 divided by 2 is 0. Okay, then for our next solution, so 
We have negative 4. What is the additive inverse of negative 4? So that is positive 4. So we have x minus 4, additive inverse, positive 4, equal 0 plus 4. Kung anong ginawa sa kaliwa, gagawin din sa kanan. Then, negative 4 plus 4, this can be cancelled out. So remaining is x equals 0 plus 4 is 4. And that is our x sub 2. So therefore, our solution is x equals 0, x equals 4. For our checking, if x equals 0 and if x equals positive 4. Again, our original equation, 2x squared minus 8x equals 0. So, substitute x by 0, so that will become 2 times 0 squared minus 8 times 0 equals 0. So, we have 2, 0 times 0 is 0, minus 8 times 0 is 0 equals 0. 2 times 0, 0, minus 0 equals 0, 0 is equal to 0. So, correct for the first solution. How about for the second solution? So, we have if x is equal to 4. Again, given equation, x squared minus 8x equals 0. Papalitan ng x ng 4. So, 2 times 4 squared minus 8 times 4, yung pattern sa taas, equals 0. Mm. Then, 2 times 4 times 4, we have 16. Minus 8 times 4, we have 32. Equals 0. So we have 2 times 16, 32. Minus 32 is equal to 0. 32 minus 32, 0 equals 0. Therefore, the solution is, 0, positive 4.